T team number 11089, and we're going to show you how to make an OTG charging cable. An OTG cable can be useful to switch from charging a device to transporting data information with just a toggle of a switch. We customize this cable that can charge a Samsung phone and connect to a flash drive, or in our case, the core power distribution module. But how do you modify an OTG cable to have a charging function? To make this cable, you need a micro USB charging cable, a female USB standard A cable, a male USB standard A cable, a wire of the same length as the micro USB charging cable, a DPDT switch, an X Acto knife, a soldering iron, and electrical tape. The micro USB charging cable has five pins, as shown in this diagram. Each pin is specific to one connection. Pin 1 is for the red wire, which is power, or VCC. Pin 2 is for the white wire, which is data minus. Pin 3 is for the green wire, which is data plus. Pin 4 is for the sensor ID wire. This is the wire that isn't already attached to the cable, but it's the wire that we have to attach. Finally, pin 5 is for the black wire, which is ground. The micro USB charging cable is the cable that goes into the Samsung phone to charge it. For the data to get transferred from an external USB device, you need a female USB standard A cable. For the Samsung phone to charge, you need a male USB standard A cable. For these two processes to happen at the same time, you need a DPDT switch or a double pull double throw switch. This switch controls two circuits at the same time so that different wires can work at, the diff at different times. Each material is a significant part of the cable for their own reason. However, one critical component in this cable is the DBDT switch. Every switch, no matter the size, must have two terminals, one for the current to come in and one for it to go out. The number of poles defines how many circuits the switch can control. This is one of the main differences between a standard switch and a DBDT switch. DBDT stands for double pull, double throw. The throw count of the switch tells us how many positions each of the switch's poles can be connected to. For example, in a DPDT switch, each pole or circuit can be connected to one of two terminals. This is why having a DPDT switch is critical. If a standard switch was used, the number of connections wouldn't be sufficient. We'll describe the connections in detail in our next video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask us in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and remember, have a good day, and be okay!